in perfect temperatures and bright sunshine, our track day guests enjoyed the safe environment of a closed racetrack, while the brand new Triumph Street Triple 765 RS was pitted against its significantly larger sister, the Speed Triple 1200 RS in production trim, as part of various 1000 PS comparison tests. While the second internal comparison between the Street Triple 765RS and the 765R was almost a foregone conclusion. The duel between the Street Triple 765RS and the Speed Triple 1200RS was a little more difficult. Because apart from the manufacturer, the design, and the engine concept, we were dealing with two completely different bikes, which also play in different leagues with their list prices. The Street Triple 765 RS cost just 12,295 euro in Germany, while the Speed Triple 1200 RS with a list price of 18,245 euro costs almost 50% more. This should of course be taken into account in our assessment. As far as the engines are concerned, the Street has the racing inspired, further developed Moto 2 3 cylinder with 765 cc. The Speedy, on the other hand, is based on Triumph's Absolute Steam Hammer, a three-cylinder with 1160cc. Logically, the performance gap is already clearly diverging in terms of engine power. The Speed Triple 1200 RS develops 50 horsepower more peak power and 45 newton meter more torque at consistently lower engine speeds. Um, look at the ready-to-ride weight confirms that the Street Triple has a weight advantage of 10 kilograms but despite its higher mass, the Speed Triple also has a 30% higher power to weight ratio. On top of this, the Speedy has a significantly longer gear and secondary transmission ratio, which is no mistake, especially on the racetrack. Apart from the frame and swing arm design, both bikes have significantly different geometries. Accordingly, the Street Triple RS is the more agile and direct machine due to its raised rear and steeper steering head angle shorter wheelbase, and considerably shorter trail. Although the suspensions on both triples are fully adjustable and the Streety is by no means modest with its Showa Big Piston 41mm upside down fork and Olin's STX40 central shock absorber, the Speedy sets the bar higher with its powerful Olin's 43mm Nix 30 upside down fork and Olin's TTX36 twin tube shock absorber. On the other hand, the Triumphs have little or nothing in common when it comes to brakes and tires. Both have radial handbrake cylinders, which can be adjusted in terms of reach and transmission ratio, as well as Brembo style and a four piston radial monoblock brake calipers at the front. However, the Speedy comes with 320 millimeter double disc compared to 310 millimeter and a Brembo double piston brake caliper at the rear with 220 millimeter disc while the Streety has to make do with just one piston. But both triples also have great ties. Conti Sport Attack, four tires in 127ZI17 and 18055ZR17 on the Streety and Pirelli Diablo Supercorsa V3 with 190mm tires on the Speedy. Both models are equipped with ride-by-wire and a modern 6X LMU and therefore have a comprehensive electronics package which in addition to the riding modes and wheelie control also has lean angle dependent uh, BS and lean angle dependent traction control. The sensationally functional shift assistant with blipper function is also fitted as standard. In addition, the speed triple has cruise control and is keyless go. I really enjoyed my time on the racetrack with both Triumph naked bikes. Even though my personal expectations regarding this comparison were not fulfilled, the riding position on both bikes was sporty, but thanks to the comfortable knee angle, it was also absolutely suitable for long distances. There were, of course, big differences in, in handling. While I particularly liked the Streety's high agility, direct steering, and high transparency of the front wheel, the Speedy was a real treat with its precise straight line stability and high stability in fast corners. Nevertheless, I felt more comfortable on the Streety overall, but I would have bet money on being significantly faster on the Speedy. However, as perceived speed is always somewhat deceptive, 
I didn't want to leave anything to chance in terms of my assessment and fitted both bikes with the innovative Racebox Mini S. The device, which weighs around 100 grams, is a super precise lap timer with GPS, acceleration sensor, and gyro sensor technology, which stores the data in the highest resolution for up to 130 minutes standalone on the device without the need for a permanent Bluetooth connection. It has pre-programmed 2000 racetrack variants and then allows data such as lap times, average, and maximum speeds, lean angles, line selection, and much more to be evaluated intuitively via the smartphone app supplied. Even virtual comparison rides between different rides or bikes are possible in real time. Surprisingly, the analysis of my fastest lap times revealed that although I made massive gains with the speedy on the start finish straight and on other fast sections, I was unable to maintain, let alone extend the lead I had gained when leaning. The high speed before the first right hand bend was 231 kilometers per hour with the street triple 765, RS and 243 kilometers per hour with the speed triple 1200 RS. Whereas I was always half a second to a second faster on average when crossing the finish line with the streety. Apparently, I got them better with the more agile racetrack handling of the street triple 765 RS, especially when braking in, in the tighter corners than with the somewhat more sluggish speedy, even though I was also really impressed by its power, smoothness, and stability. The bottom line is that as a hobby rider, it was obviously not possible for me to get even the slightest hint of the 1200's extra power and torque onto the tarmac. My conclusion is therefore perhaps a little surprising, but relatively clear. Both bikes are superbly equipped, can be ridden on the racetrack as well as on the country road in a manner befitting their species and offer a lot of riding fun in the process. Personally, I would definitely go for the street triple 765 RS for regular track day visits and sporty country road tours without travel ambitions as it is more accessible for a hobby rider like me on the racetrack and even offers a lot of potential here on the fast Slovakia airing. As soon as the focus is more on touring the travel, perhaps even with a passenger or luggage, the Speedy is clearly to be preferred. Thanks to its enormous power, the ability and smooth running, it is the more mature machine overall. With regard to the racetrack, However, I would say that only a few people will buy Speedy as a pure track bike, but for occasional track day use, there is absolutely nothing to be said against the Speed Triple 1200 RS. Thanks for checking out our comparison video. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. We'll make sure to respond. Your support means a lot. If you enjoyed the content, a thumbs up would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos in the future. Stay tuned, there's a lot more coming your way.